Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer-suggested trigonometric integral, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, sine of two times square root of negative ln of x dx. Let me make a substitution, calling k square as this negative ln of the x. Okay, then ln of the x is the same as negative k squared. So we can say x is the same as e to the power of negative k squared. So that dx is the same as negative 2k times e to the power of negative k squared and dk. So using all of this, let's rewrite this integral. So the lower bound and the upper bound should be changing. If you think about the graph of this negative ln of the x, it is looking just like this. And the lower bound of the x was equal to zero, which means when x is going to zero, the negative ln of x is going to infinity. So the lower bound has to be infinity. And upper bound of the x was equal to one, which means when x is going to one, the negative ln of x is going to zero. So the upper bound has to be zero. Then we have sine of two times k. And then dx was this negative 2k times e to the power of negative k squared dk. Let me switch this lower bound to the upper bound by pulling negative sign out. And then we also have this negative sign too. So negative, negative become positive. And let me pull this two outside of this integral. So integral has to be the same as two times integral from zero to infinity. And then k times sine of 2k times e to the power of negative k squared dk. And this integral has to be the same as integral from 0 to infinity of sine of 2k of d of negative e to the power of negative k squared. So, and if you're using integrals by parts, this integral looks like negative e to the power of negative k squared times sine of 2k from 0 to infinity. And negative, then we also have the negative 2. So plus, let me pull the 2 outside of the integral 2. 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of now cosine of 2k. That times e to the power of negative k squared dk. Obviously, this first part is going to 0. So that's why we can only talk about 2 times integral from 0 to infinity, that of e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2k dk. This is what we need to work on. Since we need to evaluate 2 times integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2k dk. Let's talk about this tool. That is about this integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2bk dk in general, using differential equation method. So let's talk about derivative of this integral with respect to the b. So of integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2bk dk. Okay, this has to be just the same as the negative integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power of negative k squared, that times 2k times sine of 2bk dk. Okay, then we can just rewrite this as integral still from 0 to infinity. And then we have sine of 2bk of d of e to the power of negative k squared. Then we can also rewrite this as negative 2 times b of integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2bk dk. So that's why we can talk about the solution to this derivative of f of b with respect to the b. That is equal to negative 2b times f of b. Then f of b has to be in the form of, say, c times e to the power of negative b squared. And if you plug it in 0 to the b, the value of the c has to be square root pi over 2. So going back to this case, this integral, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative k squared times cosine of 2bk dk. This has to be just the same as 
square root of the pi over 2 times e to the power of negative b squared. In our case, the value of the b is equal to 1, right? So in our case, b is equal to 1. So that's why this integral that we are looking for, it is the same as 2 times square root of the pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 1. So cancel 2's out. We have then square root of the pi over e. So this is the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer suggested integral. How amazing. 